What is up, everybody? Welcome to one of the last editions, I guess, of the PGA Tour year, we'll call it, because the PGA Tour is actually ending here in just four tournaments. We've got the Wyndham Championship and then the three playoff events. So winding down on the 2018-2019 PGA Tour season, it has been a fantastic year of great golf, rookies coming up, big-time winners, you know, stepping up to the plate at the major. So it has been a great year with Tiger winning, Brooks winning. Um, also a, a fantastic year for me personally in the DFS one. So looking to keep it going through uh, the rest of the year and then into the fall schedule where we'll have a ton of content, of course, and, and some filler content as well, trying to learn about some of the new golfers that will be graduating uh, on the web.com. But before we go and do that, we are going to do a model breakdown this week of the Wyndham Championship. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into my model this week. So Webb Simpson is the top on the board uh, on both DraftKings and FanDuel. Matsuyama is a little bit closer on FanDuel uh, than he is on DraftKings. And then Spieth, Morikawa, Snedeker, Paul Casey rounding out the top six. Patrick Reed obviously finding his spot in there. So um, we're going to start off quickly with the base model ranking. I'm just going to uh, give you the top five. Looks like Simpson, Casey, Neiman, Glover, Hunan. So interesting there with Matsuyama, Reed, Morikawa uh, showing up. Now the base rating model, uh, as I'll go into it, if you haven't seen it before, it's based off of this sheet here called Algo Points. As you can see here, 9%, 14%, 15%, 5%, so on and so forth. That's... Um, it actually is probably a bit higher now. These are the actual percentages of weight that it has. So I will update that for everybody. We got 33%, yearly strokes gain 27%, other stats seven, weekly we got 21. Oh, those are off. Actually, those numbers are off. So we're just gonna go ahead and press Control Z a bunch of times because those numbers are off, I have to go fix them. Here's what you wanna focus on right here. The MYOM model, in this colored in the red here, this is your allocation to the specific thing that's generating points. So for example, this is odds, next one's stroke gain, statistical measures, so on and so forth. And that comes you to a number. So I'm gonna go and now sort by the make your own model. And you're gonna see the difference. And you're gonna see, I like to do this one here, so it's the smallest to the largest. Because what happens in the base model is that it doesn't pick up on a lot of things like odds, like OWGR. So, and it's a little bit heavier weighted towards the strokes gain six weeks. So we get guys like Charlie Danielson, who's played fantastic, but doesn't have any of the PGA Tour numbers. So he's not going to come up in the base rating model as much. Got guys like Russell Henley, Lucas Beauregard, and so on and so forth. So I like to see both of these to maybe see what the base model hasn't picked up. A lot of people ask me, Jason, how do you use this? Do you actually copy and paste the, the rankings in and such? And I do, I actually copy and paste it right into Fantasy Cruncher, but I'm so I'm so specialized in the way that I build that I don't, I use these as fillers, people. Uh, so what I mean by that is, if I don't like somebody, but my model does, it'll get them in at the base 10%, which is what I set all of my players for when I get onto Fantasy Cruncher. Of course, then I go in and, and mess around with things and play with the allocations, but the base um, base percentage is 10%. So we'll sift back up here. Gonna go to my favorite page here, the Strokes Gained Dashboard. And here's Jordan Spieth, he hasn't played here since 2013 where he did come in second place. But we can look at the board here. This is what I wanna see. Last week, Jordan Spieth lost 0.82 strokes off the tee at a course that demands pretty good pretty accurate hitting. This week, it's not going to be that way. You can spray it a little bit. They're one of the easiest greens to hit on the whole year. Third easiest out of almost 50 golf courses. So um, that number should look at these. The putting numbers has been fantastic. I mean, geez, since the go all the way back to the players. This is what I love about the strokes gain dashboard. I show you the strokes gain all the way back to the waste management. So you can see that since the players speed this only lost strokes putting, and it was only 0.4 and 0.12, twice uh, made the cut in both those times as well. So obviously things are trending up in the right direction for speed. We've known that all year. Maybe going to be a little chalky this week. So without, anyways, just want to spend a couple of minutes on the strokes gain dashboard. I find it to be very important. Okay, another one last week and a couple of weeks that, that have helped me is this approach proximity. So this week, we found that 
the 150 to 175 category is so much more significant in terms of shots from this area than anyone else. It, it's about four more shots than on average than any other uh, 25 yard range. So we started there, as you can see uh, in my model here, I have boosted up the 125 to 175 ranking. We've got guys like Sepp Chiraka, Abraham Answer, Ches Reeve, no surprise to see Corey Connors there, Adam Svensson, rounds out the top five in that category. Of course, if you want to come see the strokes gain numbers, uh, the rolling averages, you can come find that here. I like to go into the strokes gained uh, da uh, dashboard. I think it's a little easier to see. Of course, we got the DraftKings points from uh, the last couple of tournaments, uh, other stats, the, the ownership projection, which I haven't put out yet. I haven't finalized for this week. This looks like the base. I'll mess with it a little bit. Um, you'll be able to see that today. Of course, you can come in and make your own too if you'd like. I've got the average, the last five, the min, the max. So... Um, plenty of things and stuff to see there uh, to mess around with. So back to the full model there. Uh, I think that should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good intro into my model. Of course, if this is a premium feature here at Osmo.com, so if you're not already an Osmo.com Plus member, you'll be able to get this model and, of course, access to me in the Slack chat to ask me any questions about the model or anything you may have trouble with. So um, I'm going to be recording my three ball video. And if you haven't seen it, it is a short form video uh, that covers three of the golfers in the field this week and a couple of other tidbits that might help you get started in your daily fantasy lineup. So uh, come back and check that out in just a couple of minutes. And until then, everybody, cheers.